and welcome to lesson five, telling time to the minute. So now that you've looked at how to tell time to uh, the quarter, the half, the three quarters, you've looked at time as five, 10, 15, 20, all the way around um, to, well, 55, I guess you got to. Now we're gonna look at to the minute. So we're going to get more specific and we're going to have to look at the minute hand even closer now. Okay, it's not really that difficult, but it takes practice in being able to tell time quickly. Okay, so um, this, is, this is some of the information for our lesson. Um, it says it takes one minute for the minute hand, the big hand, uh, to move from one mark on the clock to the next mark. So here we have a clock and it says 720. Okay, um, there are a number of ways to say this time. You could say 720 or you could say 20 minutes after 7 o'clock. We know this though, we learned this. Let's head on over to the other clock right here. Now you can see that the minute hand has moved to the next tick um, over, I guess you would say, from the 20. So it's no longer right at the mark that says four, which is 20 minutes. It's one more, so we would say that's 21. Okay, so you can either say that as 721, or you could say 21 minutes after seven o'clock. It's pretty, it's pretty much like what we've been doing before, but it's just getting more specific with the numbers. So in order to count this one, you might not know that this is 21 just by looking at it like I do, uh, but you could figure it out by skip counting by fives again. Um, so you could go five, 10, 15, 20, and then once you get to uh, the large number uh, closest to the minute hand, then you start counting by ones instead of five. So I'm at 20 and then I get to 21. Okay, so that's how you need to do that, especially if you're not used to reading an analog clock, okay? Now, um, this next part, uh, that's interesting, it's yellow on the, on the smart board, it's green on my computer, and it's very faded gray on your handout, which I didn't realize would happen. Um, but anyways, um, it says you can read times after the half hour mark in two ways. So that means that after this point, so anywhere between this mark all the way up to that mark. Okay, that's what we're talking about when we say after the half um, hour mark. Now, um, in both of these clocks, the hands are at the exact same point. They're both at 10.54. They're both at that time, okay? Now, this one with the coloring that goes all the way around is showing that you could say how much after the original hour it is. Okay, so you would say that it's 54 minutes after 10 o'clock. You could say that, um, or you could say 10.54, but 54 minutes after 10 o'clock, or you could say how close it is to 11 o'clock. Okay, and in that case, we would count that there are six minutes until 11 o'clock. So we would say six minutes to 11 o'clock. Okay, so those are two different ways that you could say what this time is. And remember that the hour hand is so, so, so close to 11 that you might be tricked into thinking that it's 11. But you need to remember that since the uh, second, no, the minute hand, sorry, the minute hand is um, over here in this part of the clock. And when it's over there, then we need to remember not to be tricked by the hour hand and remember that it's the hour before. Okay, um, so there's not much more to instruct about this, but there's some practicing to do. Okay, so remember that in time, the PM is the afternoon and the evening, and um, the AM is the morning. So anything after midnight, in fact, midnight is AM, and then anything after that, so uh, even if you, it's three in the morning, that's 3 AM. Okay, and then uh, we, when we end school, that's p.m. When you go to bed, that should be p.m. Okay, so what you, we're going to do is we'll do A together, and then you'll do, excuse me, you'll, you'll try B and C by yourself. And then we'll try it together. I'll get pen, and so it says, uh, write the time shown on each clock in two ways, write a.m. or p.m. So this says 3.20 is the time, 
got 5, 10, 15, 20, and it says when school ends. So school ends is in the afternoon, so it's going to be p.m. So we would write 3.20 p.m. Now there's another way to write this, and it's a way we already learned for this particular time. 20 minutes after 3. And that's really when we end school here at Vibank. Okay, so what you need to do is pause the video, try this one and that one, make sure you get the AM or PM and the second way to say the time, and then play the video again to, again to see if you've got that correct. Okay, so you should have completed this. Um, so we're looking at lunch recess now. And lunch recess, that's in the PM again. So um, we need to read the clock. So this is the hour hand because it's shorter and it's slightly, slightly before one. So that means that the hour is 12, the minutes is right here is 45. And since it's in the afternoon, that makes it PM again. Okay, um, I could now I could say 45 minutes after 12 or the more common uh, 15. Fifteen minutes to one. So you are outside at that time. At least you should be. Um, okay, and the last one, school begins. The school doesn't begin quite at this time, but it's pretty close for us. Um, so school begins in the morning. That means it's going to be an a.m. And we need to look at the time. So this hour hand is just before the nine. So that means that our hour is going to be eight. And our minutes. Uh, if you count it, if you know this is 30, you can start here and then skip count. So 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. So that means that my minutes is 48. So 4.48 a.m. Um, and then if I want to count, do how much close, how, how much close, how close it is to uh, 9 o'clock, then I can skip count backwards. I can go 5. 10, 11, 12. So then I could write this as oops, mid, ah. twelve minutes to nine. So that's when it gets trickier is when you have to go backwards and the time isn't on one of those. Uh, skip count by five numbers. All right, so your uh, lesson again is just the BLM, and yeah.